Welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Jacob Reynolds. It's opening day for America's favorite pastime. Stay tuned for Citrus TV at 6 for your baseball highlights. New York State's Medicaid program is coming up millions of dollars short after the state failed to collect rebates. The state comptroller's office says New York was due over $120 million from pharmaceutical companies under the Affordable Care Act. Conservative groups plan to sue the IRS in a class action suit after a major victory in court. A federal judge has ordered the IRS to turn over a list of the nearly 300 groups the agency admitted to targeting back in 2012. With this information, the right-wing groups will sue for violation of their First and Fifth Amendment rights. Rolling Stone blames their source for the discredited UVA rape story after an independent investigation called the piece a journalistic failure. The article led to a four-month police investigation, which found no evidence to back up the account. The magazine used the accuser Jackie as the sole source and failed to confirm any details. UVA students say they're concerned this story will discourage other rape victims from coming forward. Strikes are occurring across China as workers learn about their labor rights through social media. Labor scholars say the protests pose a problem for the Communist Party. A labor movement threatens its grip on power, but coming down too hard on workers will cost the party political support. Riot police and dogs are being used to break the strikes. Here's Caroline Strange with a look at today's weather. Well, Jake, you'll have to put away your sunglasses, at least for now, because the clouds have returned, although we did reach our 60-degree high, which is a little above average for this time of the year. When's the sun going to come back? I'll let you know at 6. Thanks, Caroline. That's it for your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Jacob Reynolds. Stay warm, Syracuse, and we'll see you at 6.